Hi, this is Victoria from Wilmington, Massachusetts. Victoria, can I ask you a few questions about the Occupy Wall Street? You look, you look close. How long, how long have you been with Occupy Wall Street? Uh, I've been involved with Occupy LA since the second week of the occupation. The first week of the occupation, I was still employed, uh, but I lost my job about three days into OLA's existence, so I figured, screw it, why not? I'll come out and check it out. Uh, I haven't been actively camping since October, um, and now I can't really actively camp because there is no encampment. Surprise, we got raided. Yeah. But I have been participating in most larger direct actions, trying to juggle uh, being a full-time student with uh, participating in this. But I'm going to be done with school relatively soon. We'll have much more time to devote to the movement. Have you been able to use your participation in school to talk to others about the Occupy movement? Do you talk to your, stu your fellow students about it? Uh, I have certainly tried. I've tried to drag some of my friends out here, but I go to a cosmetology school, and not to keep negative stereotypes, but my classmates aren't necessarily the most politically aware or concerned people in the entire world. I do what I can, but it's kind of an uphill battle. Well, thank you. I appreciate your efforts. Uh, what brought you to the Occupy Wall Street movement? Uh, interesting question. I think it was mostly just a growing sense of discontent. In the months leading up to Occupy, I started reading a lot of anarchist literature, um, started becoming more interesting in alternative political models, and just feeling extremely dissatisfied with current cultural and political status quo. I had been politically apathetic for a very long time. It's an easy thing to do when you're born and raised in the suburbs, but I felt as though I was finally waking up, had an awful lot of rage and nowhere to channel it, and lo and behold, Occupy happened. Well, thank you very much. What do you think that we can do in the future? In 2012, we had a great year in 2011, and now that we're in 2012, what would the best thing be for the Occupy Wall Street movement in your mind? Right. The best thing I think we can do is get more radical than we already are. I think initially the movement was split 50-50 between people who wanted reform and people who wanted revolution. Right now, I'd say the odds are tipping more 60-40 in favor of those who want revolution rather than reform. I personally believe that the system is non-functional at this point. It's broken beyond repair. We can't try to fix nor reform it. We need to get rid of it and build something better in its place. So I think radicalizing as many people as possible, taking the movement in a more radical direction, establishing more concrete objectives that may be more radical in nature than some of the things we have already proposed would be a very good thing for the movement. That may alienate some people, but I think it will make us stronger overall. Thank you very much. You're very well spoken. Would you like to have this uh, copy in a file form? Yeah, I'm sure. Why not? Okay, do you have an email address where we I can do. send it to you? I can write it down. Just tell it to that. All right. My email is glittersor at gmail.com. G-L-I-T-T-E-R-S-O-R-E at gmail.com. Thank you very much. No Happy problem. New Year. Thanks for being yeah, here. You, you did too. a great job. No problem. Thanks for having me. Of course.